sounds a bit like a seal and a pig. Who really like somehow ended up as a dog. Yeah, he's mixed up. <laughs> We'd be driving and then I'd turn off the road that leads to the beach. <laughs> he just knows the direction. I mean, as I take that turn, he's up. Sort of standing in the middle between the driver's seat and the passenger seat and just chatting the whole time. Like, the whole time. <laughs> Seriously, I'm not kidding. It happens every half an hour. Love you too. He was jumping up and down and like kind of grunting without a voice. He's like, what is this dog? He's so odd. I've got to take him out. I went to the front and I said, listen, I need to take the dog. The lady was like, I'm sorry, he's actually already been signed for adoption. You, you can't have him. My new best friend. She warned me, she's like, you're gonna get attached. I said, listen, it's not about me, it's about him. I can't put him back in that cage. Just let me give him two weeks of freedom and then he'll give him back to his owners. It wasn't a good idea. That was a terrible idea. <laughs> I got this phone call saying, you have to jump back tomorrow. I was devastated. I, I couldn't even function. I felt like I like literally lost something. I was mourning almost. It was a weird feeling. I was like, I will give him if I have to. Is there any way you can convince them to let me have him? Because we are just we bonded. <laughs> The other owners saw some videos and photos of us hanging out and they realised that the bond was so strong and then they gave him to us. I'd be having a conversation with somebody and he'd be picking up on all these words that we were saying. So I knew that he had an incredible vocab and that he could understand a lot of stuff. And then we realised he could talk. Do you want to go to the beach? <laughs> Quiet. He didn't understand what was happening. It was kind of scary. It was like he was possessed. But then if you look at him and look into his eyes, you can see he's trying to communicate. So then it became just normal. People still get freaked out. They think he's, he's upset or crying. Oh my God, he's the happiest dog ever. Don't worry about him. He's just having a chat. <laughs> You know, before I had him, this sounds so cheesy, but I'm just going to say it anyway. I don't think I knew how to like love properly. I didn't know. I didn't know what it was. He taught me like what real, actual love and friendship means. I don't know how to say this, but I used to be a, obviously a lot more selfish. Like everything was about me. I used to care about things that just, in hindsight, weren't important at all. The things that are important are really like bonding, spending quality time. He's changed the way I view the world, really.